everybody, it's the Fobra. Out for a little ride today. I'm gonna call this the, I need to clear my head ride. And uh, just going through a nice little area over here that has some beautiful homes, beautiful homes. Really nice to see. Um, it's no secret that I love buying new gear. I love looking into gear itself and I love reviewing it for my subscribers. Um, but a, a question that I get a decent amount of is how much should I spend on gear as a new rider? Now, I, always spo I already spoke about the economics of owning the first bike. That was in my uh, vlog a little, bit, uh, a little while ago. People budget for the motorcycle. They don't usually budget for the gear, especially if you're a new rider. You're, you're starting with nothing. And my advice to you is buy as much as you are comfortable buying. Buy as much as you can afford without going over the top. Now, I'm not saying I expect a brand new rider to go out and buy a one-piece suit and be, you know, and you know, do that and, uh, and a friggin' Arai or a Shoei X14. But I do think that there's a certain amount of safety, slow down, that's involved of an ex or an expectation of safety. God, it's tough to concentrate with all these idiots on the road. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look at the, first of all, look at these houses. Is this out of control? And why do I not live here? Why am I not living this life? These houses are absolutely gorgeous up here. So if you're gonna start looking at bikes, there are two places you don't wanna skimp on, okay? You don't wanna skimp on, number one, your helmet. You wanna get a really good helmet, probably a full, full face helmet, Look at that, huh? What's up, buddy? I like that, Mr. Cool. Mm. Coolest orthodontist out there. Um, <laughs> you wanna get a good helmet. Now, you wanna get a good brand. You don't wanna get no cheap brands or crap, because I mean, how much is your head really worth? I don't know, what's it worth? My first helmet was an HJC CLSP. It was a full face helmet. It was a good helmet. Um, it wasn't on the caliber of the Shoei RF1200 that I'm rocking now. And I don't mean to sound elitist and say that HJC are not good helmets, because they are. There's all different calibers of them, or all different, you know, um, levels of an HJC helmet. But I just feel like HJC has become everybody's first helmet. And that's a, and with good reason. Um, another good brand to look at is Scorpion. I had really good success with an EXO 400 and an EXO 1100, neither of which are uh, currently, hi there, are currently available any longer, but they do have the EXO 410. I don't feel like going down this road. Um, I might turn around here and hit a different road. So, yeah, let me do that. If I had a supermoto, I'd go right across this freaking grass, not even caring. With any gear, you can get a good deal on closeout stuff. Closeout stuff, you can save a ton of money. You can get the same helmet, especially, in a different graphic that's been discontinued. You can save a lot of money. You can get yourself a premium helmet or a higher level helmet at a lower cost, just because it has the closed out um, graphic. The, the key is, it's gotta be something you like or, and or tolerate. You know, you wanna kinda like the color, the color itself, but you could save a lot of money. Check out uh, retailers like Revzilla. Revzilla puts their stuff on closeout all the time. It's kind of dictated by the um, manufacturer, but you could save a good amount of money. So there's your helmet. You, you want to you budget $100 to $150 minimal for a decent helmet. You, you don't want to skimp. It's your head, people. The other area that you want to put some good amount of money into is gloves. And you might say, well, gloves. Some people don't even ride with them. But you know what? A good pair of gloves, if you go down, heaven forbid, the first thing that's going to hit the ground is going to be your hand. Your hands are going to hit first. So you want to make sure that they are solid and they will they'll kind of do their job. Okay? Like, for example, these are my Dianese Four Strokes. I love these gloves. Granted, the Four Stroke Evos are now 230 bucks. Um, these are the regular Four Strokes. They were about 170-something brand new. And uh, they saved my hands when I went down. I mean, they have palm sliders. They have... Um, What's it called? Uh, I think this is stainless steel knuckle protector and uh, 
a, a top of a hand protector, but I'll tell you something, the knuckle protector isn't as important as you think it is. It's really the palm and uh, maybe the lateral side. Um, that's what you really need to protect, your fingers, your pinky, things like that. The, the knuckle protectors are cool looking, but when you're going down, excuse me, when you're going down, heaven forbid, your knuckle's not gonna hit the floor. It's gonna be your palm. So I would say, get yourself a solid protection set of gloves. Get a reputable brand that's not gonna fall apart. Forget about the whole, I'm gonna make them so they flow a lot of air, um, or mechanics gloves, or whatever I see people dry, uh, using. This is on the phone. So you don't wanna use those. Okay, you want, I'm sorry, you want real palm protection. You want real amp protection. These gloves, I actually crashed in. The EMT, you can see, cut right up here. And I had them re-sewn and fixed, and I'm still rocking them. Love these gloves. And as soon as they wear out, I will be getting four-stroke Evos. Not because I want to spend 220 bucks on a set of gloves, but because I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's worth it. What's up, buddy? That's kind of how I feel about that. So you have the gloves and the helmet, number, number one and number two. And the rest of it, you, you want to get a good, a good jacket, something that has armor in it, something that is... Uh, comfortable leather textile mesh I don't know watch whatever temperature range you're talking about I mean I'm a, I'm a bad judge I have five jackets and I like them to match the temperature that I'm riding in and according to how I'm you know however I'm feeling I mean the brands I'm rocking right now I have a Shoei helmet Dionese gloves Dionese jacket Alpine Stars riding jeans and Alpine Stars boots I mean I've been riding for six years now this is not what I started out with I started out with a set of um, work boots which I wouldn't recommend I mean the cost of riding shoes today, something like my Alpine Stars SMX ones, you can get these on closeout right now for 130 bucks at Revzilla. Um, and the SMX one R's, which is probably what I'm going to pick up next, they're about 160. So for that money, you know, but like I, I understand everything adds up. But I really think that when you're buying a bike, you know, throw a budget up there of another 300 to 350 dollars for some decent gear because. If you need the gear, you're going to hope to God that it's good. You're going to hope that it works. And that cheap stuff, which saved you a little bit of money on the front end, is going to hurt in more ways than one. So that's, that's my advice to everybody out there. How much should we spend on gear? I don't know. I'm going to throw a number out there of three to $350 when you're a brand new rider. I mean, it, it's, you spend what you can and you spend what you're comfortable with, but please don't skimp on, on, don't skimp on some of it because some of it's so important. It could, be, it could be the difference in life and death here. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna enjoy my ride and I hope you do the same. And uh, yeah, ride safe everybody. Take care, I'll see ya.